Hi. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. Hi, Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. I just want to sit here and see who comes into this. <laughs> I'm like, who wants to know about this? Just kidding. Happy Tuesday. Is it Ili Ilya? Is that how you say it? Ilya. I think Ilya. Um, Ilya? <laughs> I'm trying to think of otherwise you could say it. Ilya? Okay. <laughs> hey, Whitney, how are you? Not long time no talk. Afternoon, yeah, happy afternoon. It's it's 10 o'clock here, but um, I always forget it's like late everywhere else. Thanks for the hearts, guys. So this is like um, a little bit different than my usual periscopes where I kind of have, um, hey, that cat, got my t-shirt yesterday. <laughs> I know, do you guys see it? Coffee, please. This is my TKT. Um, it's like getting happy mail. I love it. Hi, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. So um, usually I have like kind of bullet points and things that I'm sharing and, and teaching about. But today um, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my heart and kind of where I'm at with my business. And um, oh, thanks for share sharing, Whitney. Hey, Allison, how are you? Um, I just requested you as a roomie. I forgot to tell you. I don't know. I think we talked about that um, at Pursuit. I requested you to be my, my roommate. So <laughs> hopefully you requested me too. If not, that's okay. <laughs> um, but anyways, I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my heart today. Um, and hopefully I won't get uh, choked up or teared up or anything like that. I don't. I think I'll be. I'll think I'll be fine. Um, but I just wanted to tell. I, I filled out. I'm feeling. I'm working with a copywriter. And if you guys saw my Periscope yesterday, I was kind of talking about investing in your business and spending lots of money in your business and um, and why you would do that or why you wouldn't do that. <clears throat> and I, I'm working with a copywriter, and she had me work out some prompts. Um, hey, how are you? She had me work out some writing prompts about myself, and so it's kind of funny to like when you fill out those things and you're like, oh, and you kind of discover things that um, you hadn't really thought about in a long time. And so one of the things, she didn't really necessarily ask my why, but one thing I said, um, I talked about like, she said, what are your big dreams and your big goals? And I said, you know what, my dreams are really simple. And I said, I don't have like these big like, and they're not, they are, they're specific enough to me. But honestly, like, I'm open at this point in my life where my goals can kind of be like, you know what, it doesn't really matter exactly how it happens, but this is what needs to happen. And so instead of me being really specific saying, like, I need to make this amount of money or I need to go, you know, to Italy or like whatever. Oh, thanks for inviting it, people. Um, instead of being like that, it's just, I just need to, I need to be open to let God have that plan kind of however he sort of works it out but to have like what what do I need to accomplish instead so um, what I how I answered that was I just want to help people and so I said my goal um, and what I and the, the my big dreams is just helping people and so whatever that looks like serving people and, and serving them well and um, I started explaining like I like walking people through things and holding their hand and helping them and creating things that are beautiful that they can really relate to and, and creating something just for them. Like that's what I really enjoy about doing that. Um, yeah, totally. Yeah. So, so I feel like I, it's not, it's not really my place to say what my big dream or my goal is. It's just, um, whatever his will would be, but then also to be, um, you know, to make sure that I'm doing the, it the best that I can do it. So that's why I'm kind of like, you know what? It's like, it doesn't matter where I end up or, or what my end up, how my business ends up looking in the future, right? What really matters, um, oh good. <laughs> what really matters is um, that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. So that's why I started thinking about this, like this whole concept of serving people and helping people um, and why I love to do it so much and why I love custom design. And I, I thought, you know, I just love making something for someone else just for them, like special for them, right? Like I, I, I actually listen to them. I, I pay attention to their business and I create something. Oh, hey, Don, thanks for sharing. Um, I create something just for them that no one else has. And it's it's literally just something just for them. And, I, and there's such a beauty in that right it's not like there's such a mass production kind of type thing happening in our world right now um, that like everything you know every, you have, everyone else has to fit into a box and I want to be able to create something for just one person right like just for one business um, that does no one else has and just 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 because they are worth it they're so unique and so beautiful and so so special that I want to create something just for them and they're worth it right like it's just that thing it's like you know um, oh, thanks so much, Allison. Yeah, it's like, you know, it's, it's about, 
yeah, just like I think that people are worth it. Their 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 uniqueness is so beautiful that that um that is why and this is what I said in my when I was filling this out that is why I will never create templates. I will never, ever, 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 you will never see Love Inspired create a template. You'll never see us selling templates. You'll never see me like, you know, creating things and mass producing. Like I just can't even wrap my head around that because that's not what I'm called to do. Um, I'm called to make special things for special people, for unique people. And so um, <laughs> it's kind of like, not in a bad way, like I think that I, I love my friends that make templates. I think they're so talented and I think it's a special talent to be able to make one thing for like a lot of people. And so I don't want to like say that, that make anyone feel bad about creating things, mass production or whatever. I just don't think that that's, that's not what God called me to do. That's not my heart, right? My heart is creating one thing for one person. And so, you know, I keep trying to create these things. Oh, thank you so much, Don. I keep trying to create these things that like, you know, make a lot of money with a lot of different people and they never, they keep getting broken down and not working, right? The thing that keeps working is when I, one person connects with another person and we just share our hearts and then create something beautiful. Yeah. Um, and so I think that like, that's my calling, right? Like I have the ability um, to pay attention to people and, and hear and read between the lines and listen to what their, their thoughts and their dreams and their hopes are and create those graphically. And God wouldn't have given me that dream if it was for me to create things for the masses, right? Um, so I'm just sort of like learning myself this year. And um, I just wanted to share that with you. And that's why, and honestly, it all comes back to the, our name, Love Inspired. And so that's why I put that in the title. Um, it has to do with that. Like our name has to do with that. I'm inspired by love because other people are inspired by love and, and I want to love on people and it's all about love. And those are my two favorite words in the English dictionary are love and inspire and inspiration. Um, and so I'm inspired by people. I'm inspired by love. And so I think love inspired has always been a great name for us and it's ne it's always fit so well. And now it's like we're falling into that name. Oh, thanks. I, I'm glad that you appreciate it. And you're <laughs> it's not like I'm just talking. Um, but that's why I'm falling into that name. It, you know, I'm just, I'm kind of pouring into that name and really making our business be about that, about inspiring, inspiring others, about loving on others. Um, and, and really just making people feel as special as they really are, you know? Um, so that is my why, like, that's totally my why. And it, it's, it's, it's been it's taking me so long to figure that out. Um, oh, thank you so much. It's taking me so long to figure that out, you guys. Like, it's it's been eight years I've been in business, and I keep trying these different things, and things don't work, and it's like, I don't understand why, and it's because I'm going, I'm like listening, I'm doing that FOMO, right? Like, I am I see what everybody else is doing, and I see everybody like producing these things, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to make that, and I need to do this, and I need to do e-courses, and memberships, and this and that, and that. but it's like, that's that maybe that's not where my, where my talents lie, right? Um, just because I can do it doesn't mean I should do it. Um, um, and so 2016 has been a real season for me in the end of last year and this year has, has just been a real season of me of figuring out like what I do really well and just doing that, like just making that the best I possibly can make it. And it's really hard for me because I, I'm that, I'm like, get that shiny object syndrome, you know, where I see all these things I want to do and try and it's okay to try things. But, um, once I think that you understand like what your heart is and what your why is, you just really want to chase after that and you don't know exactly what it looks like. And like I said, I, I, I don't even really know exactly what that looks like in the future for us. Um, but I know right now it's, you know, really pouring into our clients and listening to them and taking care of them. And we're really, really busy right now. We have like a ton of clients, but um, I want it to, you know, th those are the things that I'm fighting against, like being busy and, um, you know, having having like, I don't know, like just growing pains and stuff are the things that I'm fighting against. And like, those are the things that I'm trying to grow and get better and, and grow. Like, like the design stuff's there, like our process is there. We've been doing this for a long time. I've created hundreds and hundreds of websites. Um, but what's the part that can be fit? Like what, what, what part can we pour into? And so that's like the client experience. And I've done a few periscopes about that, about where our business is going and talking about client experience and making everybody feel really great. Um, but right now we're working on just making that so amazing and I can't wait to show you guys like what we're creating um it's gonna it's taking a long time to do it but we're doing something that like nobody's doing so that's kind of the way when you when you pave the way for something um and nobody else is doing it it takes a little longer so um so yeah so that's, that's one of those other things that we're really create we're really paying attention to 
you know, how can we help somebody through this process? Because we understand building a website, rebranding, doing all those things for your business, it's tough. And you have no idea what you're doing. And we know what we're doing, but it's hard for us to explain to you what we're doing and how we're doing it. So that's kind of like that whole bridge of communication is what we're trying to work on, um, getting better and better and better at. So. So yeah, just like, you know, streamlining all those, uh, streamlining all those processes and all of that goes into feed our why, because we want this process to be fun, because we want our clients to feel really taken care of, because we want them to feel heard, because, um, even though we do work, work with a large amount of clients, we don't want it to feel that way. We want it to feel like it's just us in a room. And so, um, be, and it's, and it's hard when you're working remotely and you're on the social media world, right? It's hard to connect with people like that, like on an old school business, but in the new school way. Um, so like I said, nobody's really doing it. So that's kind of why it's hard. Um, but we're working really hard on it and I'm spending lots of money to try to figure it out. So, um, I know we'll get there. And, um, so that's where my heart's at you guys. And, um, I appreciate your hearts and I appreciate you guys, um, rooting us on <laughs> to deal with all this. And I love sharing and I love teaching. Um, but I just wanted to share you kind of open up a little bit to you guys today um, because I love Periscope that you can do that and I love that you kind of can open up and people can connect like on a real or uh, more real connection. I just wrote an article for a magazine. Um, hopefully it gets published, <laughs> but um, it's about Periscope and it's about opening up and, and being real and, and like connecting with people, like actually seeing people's faces. I mean, gosh, there's so much in, in nonverbal communication, right? Like just seeing my face and seeing me the way that I say it, you guys can understand me so much better and you understand like my heart and you can you know feel that authenticity where you know with text and online and everything else it doesn't feel authentic anymore so anyways I appreciate you guys sticking around to listen <laughs> and the, for, for people watching the replay you guys are awesome I can't believe you <laughs> stuck around for that um, but I appreciate it I'm so grateful for you guys and I'm so grateful all, for all the hearts you guys are amazing um, I appreciate all the support and if you guys have any ways to help me and help us on this mission please email me um, go to love-inspired.com. The link is in my um, profile here. Here you can hop off when I'm off. We 